But you said something in there that really was very, very important. I think will help you no matter what you provide your services, which is about reporting. Yeah. And the, the foundation of the plan that I'm providing starts with analytics and reporting because we need to know what we're doing and we need to take it out of the uh, realm of feelings and subjectives for our clients and put it in the realm of this is concretely what you received. Mm -hmm. And, and, And for every client that you have to set them up in Google Analytics and set them up with goal conversions in Google Analytics, that will help you no matter what services you're providing them later. Right. So uh, I even this, I had a tough call with a client maybe a month ago and they're like, it's not working. It doesn't work. Right. And I'm like, okay, why do you say that? Well, no one would ever contact us to use our services online. Okay, well, why are you, why are you doing this then? Yeah, right. right. But but look, this many people contacted you last month, presumably because they want your service. Right. And so we were able to pivot the conversation to what does the website accomplish? Not does my website look good? Yes. Or do I rank? You know, right. it's it's more concrete. So because we had the data accumulating. Yeah. Even though they weren't ready to ask for it yet, we were able to say, okay, and we pivoted the whole conversation to this is what you're getting. And and that just saves so many troubles. Number one, you're providing a better service for your client because now your clients are getting something and they're not just, you're not just an expense, you're something that's giving them something. So then too, when they, when they say, well, I'm going to write this check to Tim every, you know, month or however often you charge people. Now it's, it's something that's giving them something, not just another expense. So as much as you can do to push people towards, this is the number of leads we gave you. This is the number of sales your website generated. This is where those leads and sales came from. The, the more you're able to do that from day one, the better you're able to set yourself up for success with your clients. Right. So that's why step one and two is always set up analytics, set up goals for analytics. Yep. And I, I just can't uh, reiterate enough how valuable that will be in the future, even if clients don't care right now. Yeah. Right. Right. It's, 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 you're doing them. So, so the question for you, Tim, is have you set up analytics for all of your clients yet? Yeah. And that's always been a base practice of mine with building websites. That's number one thing I really look for. One of the number one things I look for during, you know, the uh, scope analysis and, and everything, just to see if they have those baseline metrics to, to begin with. Um, And so I've done that quite a bit and, the one thing I haven't done, I did for one client with the help of uh, Google Ads uh, a couple of years ago was setting up goals. Yeah. Um, so that was, I've watched your video on that and um, went through and set up goals for my business. Um, okay. So I've stepped through that process uh, once already again. So um, yeah, I can do that for a couple of others just as practice. And that, yeah. that's really great. I think what you'll find too is that's the get that's the real next step towards providing value, yeah. right? Because like like that problem I have with my client, if all I could say is we well, got a lot of traffic, then that client would have just canceled right there and then. Yeah. Be, but because I could say people contacted you, a significant number of people, and that led to a conversation where it's like, well, who's even receiving these contacts? And no yeah. one knew who was getting the form. Right? right. It was actually I found that to- with a client of mine too. Right. You know, it's going to junk. Nobody was checking it. Yeah, up exactly. Missing leads. Exactly. Yeah. So, so suddenly, now that someone's paying attention to the leads, there I'm instantly providing value, regardless of whether it's SEO success, 
or whatever, but now someone's actually looking at the leads and over the last month, like they keep sending me, wow, this is a great lead. Wow, this is a great lead. They've not even been looking at them for six months. Yeah. And before that, probably more. So like instantly they're making money. And so next time when I write, when I send them a bill, they're going to remember, oh, wow, look at how many customers we got over the last month. Yeah, this is and essential to my business. Right? Exactly. This is not, yeah. not another expense like web hosting. This yeah. is the next step after setting up analytics on all your sites and setting up goals on all your sites is this dashboard thing. And this dashboard, Tricia wanted to ask about it today, but um, so I'm, I might wait till she gets back off, off of her thing. But the dashboard is designed to be something you receive, not necessarily your clients receive every week to help you quickly identify if there's something has gone wrong. And I, I don't know how many times this has saved my bacon. Like I, even last week, I, I confessed to the group that, holy crap, one of my clients lost all their tracking, all of it. And if I'm trying to justify their expense to me, because I can prove how much they're getting out of it and I have no tracking. Oh crap. That's a drop everything, a fixed moment. Right. Right. And well, we figured it out, figured it out exactly. And we were able to fix it, but the, the otherwise I would have waited until I did my monthly report <laughs> the next month. And it would have been weeks and weeks of no data, you know, yeah. or uh, things like that. So that dashboard is a real bacon saver um, of identifying oh shit moments that you have to address. But I want to get into that in a little bit specific. Uh, I'll wait, wait till Trisha yeah, returns. Cool. Um, and then, and, and this, this, so the fourth step then becomes preparing a monthly report for all of your clients. And that I used, I, my first marketing agency, my boss used to say, that is what the clients are paying us for. And I, he, he, it was so important for him to, to that we every month issued a, a report. It was written into our contract. We had to give it to the client every month. And that's because number one, it always puts the client's focus on what we're, they're getting for it. But two, it allows you to preemptively get to um, problems that, might occur. So this problem with the with the uh, the client thinking that no clients were nobody was contacting them from the website came out of a monthly report meeting. Had I not had that meeting and had a monthly report prepared for them, they just would have canceled and I wouldn't have known why. Yeah. Right. They would have assumed nothing was happening, but because I had that month, so that monthly report. So like the more reporting you set up earlier and get them used to it. Even if they never look at it, eventually they might look and then you can start asking questions and answering questions. And that's just going to save, save your life. I, I, I can't reiterate enough how viable these reports are for client and client retention. And the more you put into them and the more you look at them, the better it's going to be for them.